Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 2, part 5 from exercise 3.4, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the question 1 from the same exercise, examples 1 to 6 and 11 to 13, questions from the exercise 3.1 and 3.2. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 2 part 5 from exercise 3.2 chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables says form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find the solution if they exist by elimination method the question is a lending library has a fixed charge for the first three days and an additional charge for each day thereafter sarita paid rupees 27 for a book kept for 7 days while Susie paid rupees 21 for the book she kept for 5 days. Find the fixed charge and the charge for each extra day. So here according to the situations given we have to form a pair of linear equation and then we have to solve and find out the solutions by elimination method. The situations given here are there is a lending library which has a fixed charge for first three days and then an additional charge for each day after three days. So Sarita paid rupees 27 for a book kept for seven days. Similarly Susie paid rupees 21 for a book kept for five days. So we have to find out the fixed charge amount and the charge cost each extra day. Since we have to find out the fixed charge and charge for each extra day so let us first assume these values to be let the fixed charge be x rupees for first three days and charge for each extra day be y rupees okay so let us first write down that let the fixed charge fixed charge for three days be equal to rupees x we are taking fixed charge for three days because they have mentioned here that a lending library has a fixed charge for first three days. So since they have fixed an amount of charge for first three days, we are assuming it to be X rupees. And after three days and later they'll be charging an additional amount per day. Okay, so let us take the additional amount to be rupees Y. Let additional charge per day be equal to rupees Y. So whatever the total amount paid by Sarita and Susi, so they are paying for fixed charge for first three days plus charge per day okay so totally they are paying some amount let us form an equation by this situation fixed charge for three days plus charge per day is equal to the total amount they are paying total amount Paid. so total amount paid by Sarita is rupees 27 for how many days for seven days she kept the book for seven days so first three days charge will be fixed what were the leftover days for okay so first three days she paid a fixed charge and for four days she has paid an additional charge per day that is totally for seven days fixed charge for first three days was rupees x we had assumed x plus charge per day charge per day is how much rupees y and for how many days she paid a charge per day for four days she was paying charge per day so we will take 4y equal to the total amount paid by Sarita is rupees 27 for three days she paid fixed charge and for four days she's paid charge per day so let us take this as equation number one now similarly there's another situation where Susi paid rupees 21 for the book she kept for five days right so totally she kept the book for five days so for the first three days she must have paid a fixed charge plus two days will be left out of five two days she will pay a additional charge per day so fixed charge she paid for three days is rupees x plus additional charge per day is rupees y so for how many days she play, paid additional charge she paid additional charge for two days so we will take two y here equal to the total amount she paid is rupees 21 so this forms the second equation so we have formed a pair of linear equations here now let us find out the solution by elimination method so now if you observe here x variable in both the equation has coefficient 1 which is equal 
so therefore let us eliminate variable x here and also we notice that it has plus sign in both the equations so let us change sign of the second equation so this plus will become minus again plus here will become minus 2y here we have plus 27 and plus 21 so this will become minus 21 plus x and minus x will get eliminated we have here plus 4y and minus 2y so we have to subtract with a greater number sign since plus 4y is a greater number sign we'll take plus sign here so 4 minus 2 is 2y equal to again we have a plus and minus so we have to subtract so 27 minus 21 is 6 with a greater number sign which is plus again so we got 2y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 6 divided by 2 so 2 1 times 2 3 times y is equal to 3 right now let us substitute this y value in equation 1 and find out the x value so substitute y equal to 3 in equation 1 so we have x plus 4 into y value is 3 equal to 27 so x plus 4 into 3 is 12 equal to 27 or x is equal to 27 plus 12 when it goes to right hand side it becomes minus 12 or x is equal to what is 27 minus 12 it will be 50 okay so we got x and y value so what is x value we had assumed it to be the fixed charge for three days is rupees 15 that is x and additional charge per day is rupees y that is equal to 3 so therefore you can write down therefore fixed charge is rupees 15 and charge for each extra day is rupees 3 so this is very easy problem hope you have understood if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be teaching you section 3.5 equation reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and sort math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you